Jack came into our service because I was visiting a lady um, a few doors up from him and she mentioned that she was worried about him so I asked her to pass my details on and, um, and he agreed for me to come and visit him. But at the moment I can manage on my own you see. You can, you can, yeah. you do really well. That's yeah. right, yeah. 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 And that's what we were helping you to do, wasn't it? Manage, be a bit more independent. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, because yeah. we sorted out, because yeah, you couldn't you couldn't lift your leg because your strap had broken, do you remember? Yeah. And you couldn't get out of your it, chair very well because you didn't have a Yeah, but a it's better with that one there. I bet it is, yeah, much better. Yes. Yeah. When I first met Jack, he was quite guarded and he was quite reluctant to accept help because he's fiercely independent and he's very mindful that people, he wants to be seen as being independent. Because he wants to stay in his own home, it's very important to him that he stays there. So, um, so initially he was um, kind of saying, oh, I'm okay, I don't need any help, I'm fine, I'm fine. But the more I went round and more cups of coffee we shared and we got chatting, then it became apparent there were small things that he needed that would make his life a little bit easier and a little bit more comfortable. How long have you been in this house? Since about 1946. Mm, you wouldn't want to move, would you? No, because I, I was in the Air Force, look. I know. Yeah. During the whole, whole through the war, mm. and then when I come out, they built these two houses here for for the people of the village. You know, that went in the army and all that. You see. But you got some stories. No, oh, I had some good times though. Mm -hmm. out there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All around everywhere with the food and everything. Mm. It was good. With the food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I used to dig and plant, see, and that used to last me all through the year. I grew enough potatoes, beans, carrots and all, all that stuff, look, I knew everything. I didn't have to buy anything then, look. The neighbour's concern and my concern on first meeting Jack was that he had food in the house that wasn't very fresh, so a member of his family was making him meals like a nice large cottage pie on a Sunday um, but he was making that last for the week and not always remember to put it back in the fridge so sometimes it was um, it was off and this was making him ill. Regular food, regular hot food was something that he said he'd be really interested in so I introduced him to Wiltshire Farm Foods and we had a look through the catalogue together. What did you think of the brochure when you saw it? Marvellous, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> So you get to choose all different meals now and you choose them all yourself, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, I picked out six. Yeah. You know, I'd have them every week now, every yeah. Thursday. Good. Yeah. He'd bring those six for me, you see. So Jean down the road doesn't have to worry about you anymore. Because she no. was worried that you weren't eating, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah. She used Good. to bring me some stuff. I know she did. She was worried. She don't bring anything now. That's because she knows you've got your farm food. She's jealous now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the freezer, look, so we haven't taken it out yet, look, it's out. There's one for today, look, lamb steak, see that? After a while I went back round to see Jack and he had, on his own, run Wiltshire Farms back up and reordered a selection of food um, and he's been doing that ever since. And the great thing is the gentleman that brings them round is usually the same chap every week who checks in the freezer to make sure that everything's being eaten up. And, um, and just has a little hello and a little chat with Jack, which he really likes. The thing's turning round in there now, look, see it? Yeah. So how long yeah. do you put your meals in there for? Well... How long do they yeah. take? So, some's only eight minutes, some's ten. So it tells you on every box how long yeah. you have to yeah, do it yeah, for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it smell nice when it's cooking? Oh, bloody lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So no more tummy upsets. Eh? No more tummy upsets since you've been having those. No, touch wood, no. Touch wood, no. <laughs> touch wood. <laughs> it was really lovely. Yeah, she did a lot for me, you know. Gave me a lot of instructions and all that, what I wanted, you know. Well, I'd never heard of a village agent until I went for the job, and I was really surprised that there was such a, a role because if I could imagine my perfect job this would be it. I love it. I absolutely love it and I've met so many nice people and I feel so useful so yeah I'm very happy with it. And you look really well. You think so do I you? I think so yeah you look very yeah. smart very well. Yeah. yeah.
Because how old were you last year? How old were you in November? What? What, what birthday was it in November for you? Uh, 10. 99? Hey. 99. I was 99. You were 99. Yeah. Amazing. We're still am. I know, still <laughs> are. <laughs> yeah. For another year. That's right, yeah. <laughs>